It's often said that one of the most complicated parts of rhinoplasty and one of the commonest reasons for revision amongst experienced rhinoplasty surgeons is the area of bump removal. So it's something that you really need to take seriously. I've been working on bump removal a lot recently and thinking about it a lot. And I think I've got a more dependable way of taking away a bump now than I did have half a dozen years ago. A bump is mainly cartilage, but with a cap of bone over the top. My approach now is to gently smooth away that cap of bone and I'm starting to use specially made powered instruments to smooth away that bone which I think gives a more precise result. I can then see the cartilage bump and I'll gently shave that with a scalpel incrementally bit by bit to get the result that looks right. So it's partly bone removal and partly cartilage removal and that's really what bump removal requires. Beyond that, you then have to recontour the nose so it looks natural. The nose looks flat and broad after bump removal, and you want to give it that gentle curve and normal width back. And that means in most cases, breaking the bones. And there's a right way and a wrong way to do that. Beyond that, we think more about the middle third of the nose now. If you look at old fashioned rhinoplasty results, there's often a shadow, an inverted V across the middle of the nose and I'm very aware of that and apply modern rhinoplasty techniques to support that middle third. I'll often see patients for revision in whom the middle third hasn't been looked after with the primary bump removal and it's something that I think is really important.